Hello friends, this video on hydrogen part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's talk about water. Water, you must have seen water, you use water, we drink water. Water is very critical for us, right? So if you see all the major parts of living organism is made of water. That is something which we know. Human body, we have almost 65% water. And this plants almost have 95% water, plant vegetables. Animals also have a huge quantity of water. It is very critical for the survival of our human being, right? For our life, all form actually. And it is a solvent of great importance. You mix chlorine, you mix NaCl, most of the thing gets mixed. It is used as solvent in, in for most of the uh, elements. Not all, but most, yeah. And it can be easily transformed from solid to liquid and gas phase. If you see, if you heat it, it becomes gas. If you cool it, it becomes ice. The phase transformation is also easy actually in this case. And if you see uh, the source of water, ocean has almost 97.33% of water. This is for the earth, not for the universe. And uh, you have uh, lakes has only small percent contribution. You have ice, we have only 2% water as form of ice. We have groundwater that is also less. We have lakes, soil moisture, atmospheric water vapor. So total you have almost 100% water, right? So we have we will also have a very small percentage. Most of the water is in ocean. 97% of the water is in ocean. Let's talk about the structure of water. So if you see, in gaseous state, the individual covalent molecule exists. So it exists is as this form, H2O. This form we talked about, right? This exists in the gaseous state. If you talk about the uh, water, then we have a lot of uh, water molecules and there will be hydrogen bonding involved. So those kind of structure you must have seen right in, in hydrogen bonding chapter. They are clustered of water molecule and they all link the hydrogen bonding. But in gaseous state, individual covalent molecule of H2 exist. And water is bent molecule. We have studied this in the uh, atom chapter where we have talked about the hybridization and the shapes of various molecules, right? In the Vesper theory. So it is bent and the angle is 104.45 degree and the bond length is 95.7 uh, or you can say 8 uh, picometer. That is the bond length and this is the angle 104.45 and this is the structure of water actually. So as you see this is the structure of water. And this is also water, this is my oxygen here, this is my hydrogen, this is my hydrogen and these are my lone pairs. So you see here also there will be two lone pairs, right? Two lone pairs. You can make something like this. It is a very high dipole moment and the dipole moment is 1.84 D. See, 1.84 D because this oxygen is more electronegative. This is a hydrogen. This is a hydrogen. So, oxygen, uh, there is a partial negative charge on oxygen, partial positive hydrogens. This is a dipole moment. The dipole moment is 1.84 D for this. And it is sp3 hybridization. We have studied this in hybridization chapter also. It is sp3 hybridization. Oxygen goes through sp3 hybridization state in this. The oxygen which assumes sp3 hybridization state here. We'll talk about more about this in the next slide where we talk about the hybridization. Uh, it has two bond pairs. As I've mentioned here also, here also there are two bond pairs. One pair is here, one pair is here. And sorry, two bond pairs. These are the two bond pairs. B and two lone pairs, there are two lone pairs actually, they are called lone pairs, right? And it is having tetrahedral shape, the shape is tetrahedral, the shape of the water is tetrahedral. It is a bent molecule with tetrahedral shape, two bond pair, two lone pairs, sp3 hybridization. And if you see, when you talk about the gaseous, as told it exists as an individual covalent molecule, when you talk in the liquid state, if you see a lot of water molecules are aggregated and they are linked together by hydrogen bond. You see this is also water molecule, this is also water molecule, all are water molecules and they are linked together by hydrogen bond. These are all hydrogen bond. So they are n number of uh, covalent molecules, they are all tied up together and you get the liquid shape. Correct. So they told the oxygen molecule in water has a speed hybridization. So let's see uh, how it is. So if you see this is my oxygen and uh, the outermost has uh, uh, this 2s 2 2p6, right? 2p4 sorry this is the electronic configuration of oxygen 1s2 2s2 2p4 
Now what happens is in this case, if you see, uh, this is my oxygen and this is my oxygen molecule actually, you see, this is uh, 2s2 and this is 2, this is uh, p, this is p and this is p, right. So 1p has, uh, you see the one in the blue has 2 electrons and the 1p orbital in the green has 1 electron, 1p has 1 electron, right. And this is my s in the blue, also has 2 electrons. The shape, what happens is, it becomes, it is hybridized and becomes sp3, 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 all sp3 becomes sp3, right. So if you see, right, s and p hybrid orbitals, 1s and 3p hybridized to sp3, sp3. And now if you see what happens is, there's two hydrogen molecules coming in, this get hybridized and it forms sp3, sp3, 4 sp3 hybrid orbitals. And out of these, the two, since it has two electrons, hydrogen get attached and the other two don't pair its free. Hope you understand this. See, this gets hybridized to four sp3 hybrid orbitals and two of them are get attached to hydrogen and two more of them are free. Correct? And thus we get hydrogen. And if you see in this, oxygen has sp3 hybridization. Correct? And this is the structure of water, 104.45 degree and 95.54 picometer the bond. And this is the shape, the same one which you have seen. These are the two uh, lone pairs. This is my hydrogen, this is my hydrogen, and this is my oxygen. So now let's understand water to ice. We have water and we free, we try we create ice from that. So ice is nothing but the crystalline form of water. Here uh, you see the structure, it is a little crystal. You see um, the shape is a little different, right? It is in the crystalline structure. And at atmospheric pressure, the normal pressure, the ice crystallizes into hexagonal form. But at very low temperature, it condenses to cubic form. So normal temperature, but the temperature is low, it condenses to cubic form. We will see this. See, right? This is my normal water. And this is my ice. You see the difference? Why is just this is just clustered, right? There are a lot of hydrogen bonds which are holding it. But if you see the ice, it is in the hexagonal form, it's crystals on there, right? It's, all, it's on the particular uh, format, if you see, it's all around. This is haphazard, it's not haphazard. And that's why, if you see, the density of ice is less than water, right? Because they are all empty space here, right? So then it, it, it expands. And that's why, if you see, if you put some water and if you make it ice, it expands. The bottle expands sometimes. If you totally fill the water in the bottle and just try to freeze it, the bottle expands because the, the 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 density of ice is less because there are some empty structures here in the water expand and that's why you see you have some n volume of water if you freeze it it becomes n plus k it expands and that's why since the density is less it expands and it floats why because the density is less it is lighter and so the ice cube flows in water if you see the glaciers and all in the sea uh, oceans these are waters and on that you'll have this ice ice floating around it will have water here inside, but on the top it will have ice because ice floats on water. Why? It has less density than water. Correct. That's why if you see the inter in winter season, the lakes and uh, it provides thermal insulation also. How? If there is no ice covering here, the water will get cooled, very chilled. Now, since the ice covering is here, it will not radiate the heat. So, it will maintain the temperature of the water inside the lake. Right, and thus all these uh, aquatic uh, species, right, the fish, dolphins, all these aquatic life, they can survive. So this is critical for ecological balance also, because if it is too cold, the, the species in the lakes can die. But with this uh, ice covering, just because the ice has low density than water, this helps in survival of the species. But let's study the structure of ice in detail. So if you see each oxygen is surrounded by tetrahedral four other oxygen atoms. This is oxygen atoms. It is surrounded by four other oxygen atoms. If you see this is oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. The blue ones in the oxygen. If you see the blue and oxygen. So let's count. As I told, four. So let's take this one example. This has one. This has two. This has three. And the fourth one will be somewhere here, which is not mentioned, right? If you take this also, this has one. 2, 3, 4, right? Let me see. 1, 2, 
third goes here, fourth goes here. It has four oxygen atoms and the distance is 276 picometer. Now, if you see, this is the haphazard and this is all crystalline structure and there are gaps in this which increases the uh, density of water. Decreases the density of water. That's why you see, hydrogen bonding gives ice uh, open structure with wide holes and these holes can these uh, holes can hold some other molecules. So, if you want to hold some other molecules here, of which are small in size, we can put in here. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.